Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Scorpion. This is going to be my little gumbo video. First, I want to start out with question of the day. What do you think of Mary J. Blige's new video with Drake, The One? If you ask me, I enjoyed the song. I love the video. My only problem is the song came out in May. Why is it just now getting the video? It's September. You know, I'm still happy that Mary J. Blige is out because Mary J. Blige is one of those artists that can release an album every two years without being overexposed and she can actually make you miss her being on the radio. Like, I was hoping some more songs from Growing Pains would have came on the radio, but it didn't, but so what? You know, I really like this song with Drake. The only problem is, and I'm still having this problem, is what is so hot about Drake? What I want you guys to do is to, I guess, let me know what is some of Drake's best songs and I can check them out. I'm just not feeling Drake. I just don't understand what the hype is about him. But, you know, a lot of people disagree with Mary J. Blige doing the auto-tune thing, too. I want to know how y'all feel about Mary J. Blige being auto-tuned out on this The One track. I, I still love the song. I love the video because Mary looks different. You know, that's something I notice about Mary. Every time she got an album out, she always has a new image. Tell me what y'all think about that. I, I really want to know what y'all think about that. I'm glad Mary J. Blige is back out, and I look forward into talking more about Mary J. Blige and, you know, until this album comes out. I don't even know the name of the new album, but I know it's coming out soon. I'm expecting November or December for an album release. Um, actually, this week, two albums came out, Latoya Luckett's um, Lady Love, which I talked about earlier. But what I didn't talk about with, was David Guetta's One Love. Now, I never heard of David Guetta. If it wasn't for Kelly Rowland, I would have never known who he was. And I bought his album on the strength of Kelly Rowland being on three of the album tracks. And I love the album. The album is the bomb. If you really, really love techno dance music, this album is for you. And it's like, this is the type of music that should be over here in America. And it's not over here. The, some key title tracks is um, Akon, Sexy Bitch, um, Chris, what's Chris Willis, Missing You. There is, um, he's, he did some song with the Black Eyed Peas. It's, it, I know he did, I Got a Feeling, but it's another song. I can't, rem I can't remember the name of these songs, but I'm really feeling, oh, there's a song called Memories by Kid Cudi on there. That is, that's got to be one of my favorite tracks. Now, I said last week, if you were watching me on Block TV, I said that Neo and Kelly Rowland was crazy for putting a song together like that, singing a song together on a disco track like that. But actually, it meshes well with the album, and the song is really good. I just didn't give it a chance on the first listen. I just like, this song is horrible, but it's not horrible. So, you know, hopefully Kelly Rowland and Neo can do a song for Kelly Rowland's next album. Kelly Rowland did an interview with USA Today, and she was saying how, you know, she's going to, what's the right way to say this? She is going to have a dance-influenced album, and she's not going to, I guess she's not going to go away from her R&B roots, but it's going to be more dance-influenced. And how do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about Kelly Rowland's new direction into dance and kind of venturing away from R&B? Now, um, yeah, this is a gumbo video. I got more things to talk about. Okay, if you have a mech, I want you to buy the Snow Leopard. I'm going to try to do this all in 10 minutes. Snow Leopard, Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard. It's supposed to be making my Mac faster, and actually it is making my Mac faster. It has a lot of improvements. I mean, you know. It was 30, it's $30 if you want it, if you have a Mac to upgrade to Snow Leopard. Um, let's see. Available right in the dock, a new redefined look, a Safari 4, a faster, more powerful browser. Actually, it is. A new QuickTime 10, uh, Microsoft Exchange support, something that I don't need. Universal access, built-in technologies designed to help everyone experience the Mac. Refinements, whatever. You know, it's supposed to upgrade the video quality on my Mac, and it really hasn't. Now, I haven't used iChat. I don't even know how to use iChat. If you know how to use iChat, please help me out because I don't know how to use iChat. 
I use the Skype thing. But I, I do notice that this Mac moves even faster. It was already fast from the beginning, but now it moves even faster. It shuts down quicker, cuts on quicker. Um, it actually gave me back more than 7 gigabytes of space. It said that it was going to give 7, but I think it gave me back 13. Because last time I checked, I had like 106 gigabytes left. And now I have 119. So that's a lot of gigs it gave back. So, that's the Mac OS X. Now, I also have Final Cut Express. And now, I don't know how to use the Final Cut Express. I bought the book, and I'm still kind of clueless. And I'm still going to, uh, I want to make my videos better than just using iMovie 09. So, if you are a Final Cut expert, please get at me. Um, What else? Now, I made a video last night about Mariah Carey. It's a new song, I Want to Know What Love Is. It's actually a cover, and people are trying to actually trying to school me like I didn't know that Mariah Carey has performed covers before. But this, to me, it was boring. Like, it got good. Okay, I said the last 15 seconds. Maybe the last minute when Mariah was going on and going... And all of that stuff. You know, if you got on headphones, I'm sorry, I just hurt your ears. But, um... You know, it didn't get good till it was about to go off. And it, it was like, oh, don't don't get me to say what I really think it's like. It was just like that. And those Mariah Carey lambs, they are cursing me out on that video. So I need y'all to go over there, rate that video five stars, and rate this video five stars. And leave a comment supporting me because they getting at me. They saying all kinds of mean stuff. Like I ain't never heard that stuff before. I mean, hey, this is their opinion. You know, their opinionators. You know, that's the new name, opinionators. Let's not call them haters. Let's call them opinionators because hate is such a strong word. It's really such a strong word. Now, let's talk about Twitter. Everybody that's following me on Twitter, some people unfollow me because they feel that I don't tweet with them enough. I mean, I try to reply to everybody on Twitter. Right now, I have over 3,600 followers. There is no way that I can respond to everybody that tweets me. And it makes me mad sometimes when I see some people saying, oh, yeah, I'm tweeting you, but I know you're not going to tweet me back. Like, I, is that your way of getting me mad? Or is that your way to get my attention? Because, you know, I don't, like, I don't like seeing messages like that. Don't do that to me on Twitter. I try to respond to everybody on Twitter. I try to have fun with y'all on Twitter, but y'all be trying to make me all mad, tell me I don't ever tweet nobody back, that's why you unfollowing me, that ain't right, that ain't right, I can't tweet everybody, just be glad that I'm tweeting you guys, and like I said before, wouldn't you rather me respond to you in a tweet by yourself, than for me to respond to everybody at the same time, you'll feel more special if I just put a tweet exactly out to you. And by the way, speaking of Twitter, I have, well, The Scorpion Show has a Twitter fan page. I'm not talking about a, a, a diss page. We have a fan page called Love The Scorp Show. Please follow Love The Scorp Show. And I want to give a, I can't remember the girl name, but I know that Gia is also a part of that page. So I want to give you all a shout out and thank you all for making a Twitter fan page for The Scorpion Show. People been asking me, where the hell is Mikkel? Where is Mikkel? Where is Mikkel? Oh my God, where is Mikkel? Mikkel is scheduled to be back tomorrow. He's scheduled to be back tomorrow, but I know it's going to rain all weekend. I don't know. So, I mean, he if he comes, he comes. If he don't, you'll get a video when the next time he comes. So, I'm sorry that Mikkel has not been here. I Mikkel, Like I told you guys, Mikkel has another life. Like, I can't force Mikkel to be here. Every day on the Scorpion Show. I enjoy having him as my co-host, but Mikkel also has a life. And Mikkel's also on Twitter. So you guys can stop sending me emails on where's Mikkel. Mikkel tweets all day, every now, all day, every day. But Mikkel tweets all the time. So hit him up on Twitter if you want to get in contact with Mikkel and you're looking for Mikkel. Don't be leaving me no mean comment. Oh, you is boring. I want Mikkel to be here. Um, I love you, Scorpion, but where is Mikkel? That's a little sympathy comment. Don't do that to me. Okay, I want to also give a shout out to Chrisette Michelle, who's following me on Twitter. She left me a nice little retweet. No, not a retweet. She left me a nice comment saying, this is why I follow you on Twitter, because you say the funny things that I can't say. So, shout out to Chrisette Michelle. Please follow Chrisette Michelle. Her name is at Epiphany Girl. 
And I know she wants to change her name. I don't know what she's going to change her name to, but she's going to change the name. And I want to say thank you to everybody that is subscribed to The Scorpion Show. We got a lot of new subscribers from the UK after I talked about Alexandra Burke. And if you're watching me right now and you're from the UK, and I know this video is about to go over 10 minutes, please send me... Um, some artists that I should be talking about. I'm going to be doing my research too, but I want y'all to send me some artists who y'all think I, sh I should be talking about on the Scorpion show that's over in the UK that doesn't get a lot of press or a lot of people don't talk about them or they're underrated. Let me know about who they are. Um, I forgot what I was about to say and it just skipped my mind and there was something for... Okay, there we go. Next week, I will be in Atlanta for Labor Day weekend, for Black Gay Pride weekend, and also for the Sweet and Greet. We're going to Six Flags Saturday morning and we're also having a barbecue at Grant Park. If you live in the Atlanta area or you plan to be around the Atlanta area, that doesn't sound like one of them damn talk shows where they be like, if you're living in South if you're going to be in the South California area, or if you live in the South California area, hit us up to be on Family Feud. But no, we are going to have a nice time that weekend, and we want you to be a part of it. To go to Six Flags is $30 um, to get there, and we're going to be meeting at Varsity in downtown Atlanta, and we're going to go. It's not a bus trip. Um, I know I'm getting a ride. Because I ain't had no way to get there, but Candy and Sweet Addictions TV is giving me a ride. I'm so thankful to get there, you know, for her to be taking me there. And um, that's the Saturday trip to Six Flags Great Adventures. If Not Great Adventures. We have Great Adventures, Six Flags Great Adventures here in Philly. Well, it's not in Philly. It's in New Jersey, but you know what I'm talking about. It's Six Flags over Georgia. That's where we're going. Now, the Sweet and Greet at Grant Park, it will have... 10 YouTube, well, over 10 YouTubers. Myself, Sweet Addictions TV, Quadir, Joe Work TV, Alonzo Lerone, West of A Connection TV, Derek L. Briggs of AD TV, Zim Van Adams, What's the T, Drama Dupree, Invincible, um, Blue Eyed Simba. I hope I'm not leaving anybody out. I don't like leaving people out. But those are the people that are scheduled to appear. And, you know, we're all going to have a nice time, a wonderful time. So if you can come, please come to the barbecue. Now, if you want to eat, it's $5 per plate. It's five oh, I left out uh, Lionel Williams, 3 WTV. I'm sorry. It's $5 a plate, but your money will be donated to charity. It's going to two charities. One is going to a children's charity, and one is going to a breast cancer charity. So please come out, support, have fun, meet us, take pictures with us. Drink with us, eat with us, do whatever you want to do. Well, not everything you want to do with us, but, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a nice weekend. And this is a more reserved video for me because y'all know I can get loud on my videos. But, you know, I just want to be a little bit quiet on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching The Scorpion Show. If you have not subscribed to The Scorpion Show, I hope that you subscribe to The Scorpion Show. And I will talk to you all soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. If Mikel and I don't give you a weekend a, a video tomorrow. See you guys Monday. Peace. Please hang up and try again.